Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new action figure review. This time I have Death Squad Commander from the 40th anniversary, uh, second wave of the Black Series. Um, <clears throat> I gave a little brief rundown of the carded version of this figure in the last video, but tonight, tonight I want to have a look at the, uh, the figure loose out of the packaging. So I'll, I'll just leave the packaging in the background there, um, as you can see. Let's pan up. There we go. But what we want is a figure right in front of us. And just for a, another reference, I actually got the last release of this character, uh, which was from the Vintage Collection. It was relatively late on in the Vintage Collection, but I uh, just wanted to show you a quick look at this guy anyway. This is a pretty good release. And uh, yeah, it would have been good to argue with this guy, but uh, the, the wave he was in was particularly hard to track down, so I was pretty happy to, to, to get one of this guy, so. So he's got a sort of blonde, blonde gentleman underneath there. But, you know, you could have head swapped with this guy if you wanted to, but you know, we've had, we've had uh, Death Squad Commanders in the past, um, and uh, they changed the name from Death Squad Commander last time this was released. I think they called it just Death Star Commander or something like that. But, uh, or Imperial Navy Commander, I think was what it was. If I'm, if I'm not, correct me, please. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Imperial Navy Commander. I think they decided Death Squad was a little bit too, too much for the kids. But uh, they've gone back to the... Uh, to where it all began with the Death Squad Commander. I don't have the vintage version, otherwise I would have shown you that as well. So, uh, let me just boost my camera up a little bit. There we go, now we can have a good look at this guy. Actually, that's gonna take away the focus, so I'll stand at the back. This is a really nice, really nice figure. Um, definitely like to get a second one of these to open and maybe do a head swap with someone. <clears throat> you know, I've got a few Marvel Legends characters that have just got plain heads and you know you wouldn't you wouldn't recognise them if they were on this were on this figure. Um, so that's always an option. But this is a cool figure. He's got his blaster rifle there. It fits into the holster down there on the side. It's a little bit tight. It doesn't want to go all the way in, I'm sure it does. It sort of sits in there okay. Um, probably if I try a little bit harder I could get it to go further down, but it's okay. And just really nice looking figure with the nice matte of the uniform. You can sort of see the semi texture there. It's not just a sort of a plain gloss black, which is nice. Actually, so really like the little buckles around the around the gloves there. I think they look good on uh, both the hands there. And the nice belt buckle on the top there, and a couple of uh, other pieces on the belt. That looks nice too. Just a just a nice looking figure, I think. Go to the back. It's uh. It's pretty basic, but it still looks good. If we pop off the helmet, this is the uh, this is the face we get. Reasonably generic looking sort of person, I guess, as as generic as humans can be. I like that he has some sort of elongated sideburns there. I think they should have come down a little bit further. That would look cool, but. The Imperial rank bat, the Imperial insignia on the side there. Go down his legs. So the joints sort of fit nicely in with the pants. Really nicely sculpted. And then the boots. So he's a, he's a cool looking figure. If we go look at the helmet quickly. Still, um, I still find it funny that this this character was actually chosen to be part of the first twelve back in uh, 
back in the late 70s because um, it wasn't really a standout character um, there was probably a lot of a lot of characters you could have chosen from the cantina and uh, even Grand Moff Tarkin who didn't even make it as a figure until the Power of the Force two days in the 90s of you know I thought Tarkin probably should have been in that first 12 to be honest instead of this guy but uh you know it's not, you can't change the past that was 40 years ago but uh yeah this is a really nice figure and uh as from what I understand this will be getting a standard release in the in the regular black series in the future so if you miss out on this uh vintage style card you'll get a chance to get it in the regular uh, black and red box assuming they're still going to go with that color scheme for a while but part of the regular line this guy will get a re-release um, and I have uh, I do believe the Jawa um, and the Darth Vader the most recent Darth Vader that came in the 40th anniversary line will also be getting regular regular releases in the future so if you miss out on them this time and you really want the figures um, just just be patient they will come um, and yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video guys. Until my next one, may the force be with you.